Agent Harrelson, you got any leads yet? Well, it might be a minute, Bob, but you know you've got the best man on the job. I'll have this figured out before dinner. Me. It's always me who has to get his hands dirty. Headquarters said to prepare for a messy crime scene, but this is textbook work out of a slasher movie. I knew I should have stayed in bed today. Harold! Stop daydreaming! And don't forget to fix the light after cleaning up the paint! <sighs> Sometimes I do wonder what life would have been like on Earth. Hi, we are Slow Brothers, the team behind Harold Halibut, a handmade adventure game. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm Kali. I'm Ilya. Hi, I'm Onat. Here in our studio in Cologne, Germany, we design and program the game and we digitalize the models that are created in our workshop. Which workshop? I'm Fabi. I'm Holle. And I'm Ole. Here in our little workshop, we sew, paint, model and craft, tiny rooms, puppets and furniture. Wait, did you say real models that I can touch with my hands? Or with the tip of your nose. But seriously, there's something about working with your hands that just can't be replicated by using a computer. Uh, we wanted the feeling of traditional stop motion films and still benefit from the sheer infinite possibilities you might get by putting stuff into the digital world. Unfortunately, the process is a bit more complicated than that. That looks interesting and all, but what's the game actually about? Harold Halibut is a modern adventure game with a strong focus on storytelling and exploration. Set in the patched up wreck of a spaceship on a distant water planet, you get to play Harold, a youngish janitor and lab assistant. Professor Jean Moreau, one of the lead scientists on board, is your boss, and together you unriddle the possibility of relaunching that ship. But of course, their day-to-day -day life on this arc-like ship is soon to be interrupted by things from the mysterious and watery world that lingers outside. It has been almost five years since the idea for this game came about. Just about enough time for us to figure out how to keep things handmade while providing the dynamic gameplay experience you and we want from a modern game. You mean you can walk around freely like a normal 3D game, even though it looks like a stop-motion film? Totally! You have real-time control over the character movement and the interaction. 
We managed to work on the game full-time for the past two years through a German media funding program. We wanted to be sure we would have something solid to show to you and to be able to back up the promises we would make here. Working in this fashion is labor-intensive and sometimes ridiculously so. Curiosity has been our driving force throughout this process and we feel it has enabled us to build a world for you. A world that you get to be curious about and to laugh at and to find your own reflection in. Still, there's a lot of labor left over until it's complete. We want to keep this curiosity and continue development without a corporation telling us to put sales first. But we are going to need your support for it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And don't forget to tell your friends.